Hello and welcome. You know quite a bit about plants now. You know what a plant needs and you know the function of leaves and different types of leaves. You know types and parts of roots and what roots do for the plant. You know about the stem and the flower and the fruit. Now it's time to look more closely at the seed. This is a pinto bean. The pinto bean is the seed of the pinto bean plant. The job of the seed is to house and feed the new plant. The baby plant begins in the seed. Not only does the seed house the baby plant, but it also provides its first food until it grows leaves and can make its own food. Let's take a look inside the seed to see if we can find the baby plant. I'm going to start by carefully separating the two parts of the seed. There we go. Now we can look closely at its parts. In this part of the seed, we can see two things. Do you see this little bit near the top? That is called the radical. The radical of the seed is the part that forms the root. Radical comes from the Latin word radix, which means root. It will become the root and dive deep down into the soil. Now, do you see this little bit here? That is the very beginning of the plant's first leaves and stem. That's called the plumule. The plumule is the part that will sprout up into a stem and lift up the other parts of the seed. Plumule comes from the Latin word pluma, which means fine feather. This main part of the seed here is called the cotyledon. There are two cotyledons in this bean seed. The cotyledons are the food for the baby plant. Cotyledon comes from the Greek word meaning cup. You can think of the cotyledon as a little cup holding and feeding the baby plant. Now, let's flip this seed over. This outside layer is called the testa. The testa covers the seed and protects it. Testa comes from the Latin word meaning shell, which makes sense because it is like the shell of the outside of the bean. Now let's take apart the seed and label each of the parts. Here they are. Here are the four parts of the seed. The radical is the part of the seed that will become the root. The plumule will grow into the plant's first leaves and stem. The cotyledons are what make up most of the seed and are the baby plant's first food. And the testa, that is the outside layer of the seed. Look, it's already drying up and even shriveling a bit. Now, if we take a look over here, you can see a couple other examples of seeds. Here is the endocarp of a nectarine. You could use a hammer and safety goggles to open the endocarp and get the seed out. This is the seed of a plum. And here is a peanut. Inside its shell are the seeds of the peanut plant. If you look around your home, I'm sure you could find some examples of seeds if you look hard enough. Inside fruits, maybe some dried beans in the pantry. I encourage you to look around and see what you can find and try to identify the different parts of the seed.
We have a lot more lessons at Guidepost with activities that you can do at home or school. One of my favorites is in the video description below.